Welcome to the Scaling Japan podcast, a podcast about how to grow your business from $100,000 and beyond, and beyond in the land of the rising sun. Welcome to the Scaling Japan podcast. I'm your host, Tyson Batino. And on today's episode, we have Akihiro Mori. He is the assistant director of the Overseas Collaboration Division for Aichi Prefecture. And this is a special for the Scaling Japan podcast in that we don't have just one, but actually two guests today. And our second guest is Satoru Ichihara, who is the general manager of Station AI. And on today's podcast, we are going to learn a lot more about Nagoya City, and also Aichi Prefecture. And this is part of our series of startup cities in Japan, which we've already interviewed Kobe, Sapporo, Fukuoka, Shibuya. And now we can add Nagoya to the list. Uh, it's really great to have you guys both on. And Akihiro, could you please give a self-introduction, please? Nice to meet you. I'm Akihiro Mori from Aichi Prefectural Government. Thank you for giving us a great chance to talk with you today. So I belong to Overseas Collaboration Division. So I hope to explain in brief about its, its activity. We are mainly uh, engaged in the project with overseas partners such as Session Ek, the University of Texas at Austin, the National University of Singapore, and other very, uh, very important uh, stakeholders of the world-class startup ecosystem. Uh, we are doing uh, various efforts uh, to promote overseeing expansion of our regional startups. And at the same time, we are doing the uh, effort uh, to promote the open innovation of each corporate with international startups. Personally, uh, I hope to explain myself. Uh, I joined AX H Prefecture in 2009. After that, I basically worked for the startup, uh, sorry, industry related field. Especially from 2017, I worked in the position for uh, support of aerospace industry. And from 2020, I'm engaged in the startup support project especially uh, uh, relevant to the overseas partners. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice to have you on. And uh, we got to meet each other briefly uh, this year in February for the uh, 500 Global Landing Pad in Aichi Prefecture. And uh, Satoru, could you please introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Ichihara Satoru uh, from Station AI. I'm currently working as a general manager uh, and then, and mainly focus on being a mentor for the startup companies and also like supporting Japanese startup to expand the business in the overseas. And of course, we are trying to invite uh, many overseas startup companies to Aichi and Station AI at this moment. And uh, lastly, like I'm working as a capitalist uh, for our fund uh, since we have a, a, a our fund, a Station AI Central Japan Fund. Uh, at this moment. So I'm working as like a mentor and supporting with a startup. And uh, lastly, like I'm working as a capitalist as well. I study uh, the university in the US and then the, uh, I joined a, a previous company called Toyota Tsusho uh, from 2010. And I work in, the, uh, of course, Aichi Nagoya, uh, which is headquarter of the uh, Toyota Tsusho. And then I work in the Singapore for two years and then the Bangkok, Thailand for six years. And I was working for like mainly supply chain management of the logistics and then also uh, food and consumer businesses. And when I was in Thailand, like I work mainly for like a startup ecosystem and then the investment for the startup companies. So the last year uh, I have transferred from Toyota Tsusho to uh, SoftBank and then Station AI. And then I'm working as a general manager at this moment. Yeah, thank you for very much yeah thanks for sharing that and i remember several of the companies from the 500 global landing pad uh from those companies from overseas uh, they also joined the program at station ai and uh yeah and i i know a couple of people on the team and yeah you got some really good people there mm -hmm. 
That's right. So, um, Moristan, I, I'd like to get started by letting you, maybe you could tell us, uh, since you do work for Aichi Prefecture, telling us a little bit more about, uh, I would say, Aichi and also Nagoya as well. Oh, I hope to share three things. First one is, that is the biggest one. We have a uh, really uh, a strong area for manufacturing industry. For example, Toyota Motor Corporation and its big suppliers are located. If we go to uh, over, overseas countries and we, we mention Toyota, everyone can understand what our region is. So every time I go to overseas countries, I explain about Toyota and I explain how strong our region is for manufacturing industries. And the second one is uh, about the location of Aichi Prefecture. So Aichi Prefecture is just the geographical middle of Japan, located between uh, Tokyo and Osaka, and we have great access to those two big cities. If we use Shinkansen, we can reach, reach to Tokyo at just one hour and 40 minutes, and to Osaka only 50 minutes. If Maghreb started operation in 2027, we can reach to Tokyo just only in 40 minutes. And as a third one, I hope to share Aichi Prefecture is one of the biggest prefecture in Japan. For example, we have 7.5 million population. It's the fourth largest number after Tokyo, Osaka, and Kanagawa prefectures. And we also have the many of the branches or cores of the uh, companies. We have 360 offices of various industries in IT prefecture. And Nawaya is our capital city. It is the biggest city in IT prefecture and it was about 2.3 million. And many, and the center of the, our industry is uh, nowhere as well as Toyota City. Cool, thank you for sharing that. And yeah, I know there's some uh, pretty big, I think like space manufacturers there too, right? Yes, so Japanese flagship rocket H2A, H2B, H3 is constructed uh, in, in, in Nagoya City. And it will uh, carry it to Tanegashima in Kagoshima Prefecture and launch it to space. Cool. And Satori, I want to know uh, maybe what are some, are there any other industries, or us, uh, both you guys, but are, are there any other industries that Aichi is known for as well? So maybe Satoru first. Okay. Uh, probably like as uh, Morisa mentioned that like uh, uh, here is a very like famous for manufacturing. Uh, industry like such as Toyota, those kind of like uh, uh, like car industry mobility. But uh, uh, following like uh, um, like aerospace and robotics, and those are actually uh, top number of the uh, production is in here as well. So and also like uh, uh, Aichi is close to uh, Hamamatsu area, Shizuoka area as well. So as Morisa mentioned that like uh, those are we call like a center of Japan. And they have a, like a Suzuki or Yamaha, uh, those company uh, was also located as well. So uh, as I mentioned, like uh, automotive and then and following like uh, aerospace related businesses and robotics. Those are three major uh, industry that we have in this regions. Ooh, thanks for sharing that. And uh, for Mori-san, do you know what the population of Hamamatsu is? For me, the listeners who don't know. Hamamatsu's population is about 800,000. Okay, yeah, so 2 million in Nagoya and 800,000 in Hamamatsu. Cool. Yes. And uh, I guess my next question, of course, I'll start with Satoru first, is uh, what are some of the benefits of starting a company in Aichi? Okay, so at first, um, as we explained, that um, there are like top layer of the manufacturing companies and located in these regions. So it means that like uh, uh, they're going to be like a potential customers and client. And then the, like uh, geographically, and then also like uh, uh, we can uh, openly talk to those companies. So of course, like uh, when you start a business, when you start a startup companies, of course you need the uh, investors and VCs and those 
But uh, also the most important is that where is the client, where is the customers? So uh, you can reach to uh, those clients easily uh, compared to other city. This is one. And then other thing, actually, I used to live in Tokyo after Bangkok. And then, um, well, like uh, I spent the same money to the renting like apartment. Uh, probably like uh, the size of the apartment will be like a double uh, compared to Tokyo when you move to uh, Nagoya Aichi. So uh, the renting the house and then also like uh, renting the offices and the ribbing costs will be like uh, probably like a 30% uh uh lower than uh other city as well and the other thing is uh, um of course you can go to uh tokyo uh by blue train maybe one point one and a half hours and you can go to osaka 50 minutes so it's really center of uh, uh japan and then not only like a uh, domestic like you can travel to other countries like asia uh us and uh europe uh there are so many direct fly from uh, central uh, central airport airport, so the geographically it's quite uh, reasonable in here. And the last thing is the uh, universities. Uh, we do have like over fifty universities. The Nagoya University is uh, one of the top university in Japan, and then also like there are many like manufacturing company in IT. So uh, quite number like a large number of the technical colleges or like universities are uh, also uh, located here so you can easily hire those people uh, from those colleges and universities oh thank you for sharing uh anything to add morisan about the benefits of starting a company in aichi the very important point is where customer is located and many of the manufacturing industry is concentrated here and I think coming here will be beneficial for many startups. Uh, thank you for sharing that. And next, there are a lot of benefits for startups. And I'd like to know a little bit more about how you help startups in Aichi. And I'll start with Satoru again. But uh, what are some startup programs that you offer in Aichi? Okay. Um, uh, there's so many like startup like, supporting programs by Aichi Prefecture. And then one of the project is the stationery, uh, which I belong to. And uh, we try to open this like uh, in incubation facility, incubation hub uh, in 2024, October. So it's it's one year later <laughs> we're going to open. But uh, what we are trying to do uh, at this moment is the, basically like a business setup support for startup companies. So... Um, we don't have a facility yet. We are building under construction at this moment, but we started as a, like a pre station AI from last year, April. And we already invite many uh, startup company from domestic and from overseas. At this moment, like we do have 282 startup companies uh, registered as a pre station AI members. And what we are providing is that uh, we do have like nine uh, members of the mentors uh, who can deal with the, all the startup company and then give the advice or give some uh, network to uh, uh, collaboration with the company and open innovations, those kind of things. And then also we are providing a so-called guild, uh, which is uh, creating a small community for startup CEO and then CEO because startup issue can solve by startup. So we try to uh, make a small community, a CEO, CEO, CTO, CTOs. And then we are providing many like workshop events so um, we are providing those kind of like advice or like, of course, if they are, uh, if they need the person, like HR matters, uh, we try to uh, provide the recruiting services as well. Those are uh, services that we are providing at this moment for startup companies. And uh, there's the name AI in station, but do you have to be an AI startup to enter station AI? Oh, actually AI is... It's not from uh, AI, it's IG uh, AI. So uh, <laughs> we are not really focused on like uh, AI uh, startup company. We do have like a mobility, healthcare, GX, and those kind of uh, variety of the startup companies. So yeah, uh, it doesn't have to be AI. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. And uh, how about uh, Station AI Catapult? Oh, Catapult, yeah. Uh, this is a short-term intensive programs. Uh, we are spending like a three, uh, three and a half months 
for startup company、uh, to accelerate their businesses. There are two courses. One is the incubation、uh, pro- programs. The other is the acceleration programs. So、um, we do、uh, twice a year, and then currently actually、um, we are running the this catapult. So、uh, each program has like twelve to thirteen、uh, members. So total maybe twenty four, twenty six startup company joining、uh, these programs. So we are providing like、uh, lectures, or we are providing some uh, uh, network with the、uh, VCs. And then, of course, we do have a demo day. So once the, you join the catapult, you can how to say organize your businesses. You can brush up the businesses, and you can meet the many、uh, VCs or client. And at the at the、uh, at the last, of course, we do have a fund as well. So if we have a synergy、uh, from Station AI, you have a chance to get the investment from our fund or the other VCs. Thank you for sharing about that. And、uh, Morisan, what are some other startup programs that you provide? So we have many and many startup related programs. The most、uh, earliest stage is、uh, for the program for elementary school students. We want them to have entrepreneurship mind, and we hope they will uh, uh, put an option to follow the. Start up by themselves in in their future. In addition to that,、uh, for example, we have a program to to get basic knowledge to fund startups, and we also have a program to go to overseas exhibition and acceleration program to go to overseas、uh, overseas countries. Among many programs, we have the program with five hundred global. Five Hundred Global is a very famous venture capital in Silicon Valley. We have collaboration program with them from three years ago. The program is basically consists of two parts. One is a boot camp. The target is a domestic startup. The program will help domestic startups、uh, to brush up their business models、uh, and improve their pitch decks and. Brush up、uh, many things concerning the activities. It will take eight weeks every year. I hope to explain next one、um, landing part in, in detail because the target is international startups. The term is about eight weeks. That is to support international startups to come to Aichi Prefecture and do business、uh, here in Aichi. So、uh, many of great mentors are. Participating to support startups, and one of the great greatest mentor is Tyson. <laughs> Thank you for the the compliment, and、uh, yes, I I am one of the resident mentors for the landing pad program, and it's I've done it t- twice. This is my second year doing it, and I will actually be going to Aichi at the end of October this month, twenty twenty three, and、uh, I think it's a really good program. Yeah, looking forward to helping the companies enter the Japan market. Yes, so it may be,、uh, it may Tyson may know more, but I hope to explain because it's a very important program. So in the program,、uh, the mentors will share important knowledge to the business in Japan and brush up their business plan、uh, in IT prefecture. And the program will also support matching with IT corporates. Every year, about fifteen corporates、uh, participate, and they will come here、uh, about one month. This year,、uh, startup will come come to IT for three weeks, and they will、uh, search、uh, their business partner、uh, for three weeks.、Uh, four startups joined、uh, Session AI as a result of the program, and. As Tyson have already mentioned, we are now conducting the this year's batch of learning part, and from the late October,、uh, startups will gather to IG from all over the world, and Tyson will come here, and we are really looking forward to the collaboration、uh, among Tyson startups and IG corporates. Thank you for the mentioning my name, and yes, so. 
And uh, just to give a little bit of more detail, it's helping the overseas startups enter the Japanese market. So some of the things that I help corporations with is their go to Japan market strategy. And sometimes a key part of that is maybe in your home country, this was your target audience, or this was the features that company likes, but maybe in Japan, it's actually a different feature that might have a, uh, that actually would have a bigger impact. Uh, another one is also in your home country, you might have this ideal customer profile. Uh, this type of company is a perfect match for us. But in Japan, that might not actually apply. It might actually be a different type of company or a different segment that has the pain point. And so kind of like the first step is just kind of really pointing you in the right direction of where to start. So who is the people who would have the highest potential of being your clients. And once that's kind of clear, the 500 global team and IG prefecture can help with some matching you to some of these corporations to help you uh, get your first proof of concepts, POCs, or even potentially first clients. And hopefully you will incorporate in Aichi after that. And uh, yes, yeah, so I think that's the 500 Global program. And if you join, maybe I might be a pro part of the program next year as well, and you can work with me directly. One of the common challenges I see with my consulting clients is not having any staff internally who can drive marketing strategy and execution to the next level. This really limits the growth trajectory of a company, especially for a leader like you that wants to go from 30 million to 500 million yen a year and does not have the time to spend years learning through trial and error. To solve this problem, I'm launching a marketing agency that can help companies like yours to increase leads and closing rates through SEO, Google Maps, content marketing, and websites that convert. Head over to scalingyourcompany.com and book a free consultation. Let's talk about what your business needs are, where your current strategy is letting you down, and how we can help you see real results with the methods I've successfully implemented at multiple companies myself. Now, back to the episode. And I know you have some other programs as well, Mori-san. I also hope to share the program with uh, National University of Singapore and Israel Startup Support Organization, a Startup Nation Central, and Israel uh, Innovation Authority. Uh, the aim of the, of the program is the open innovation of IT corporates with overseas startups. We have uh, three programs with each organization, National University of Singapore, Startup Nation Central, and Israel Innovation Authority. And those programs uh, di have a different point, but uh, I hope to explain uh, overview uh, because overview is a uh, same among three programs. Uh, basically, at the first of the program, uh, about first half of the program, uh, the program will offer each corporate uh, to brush up the contents of the challenge which uh, they want to try with overseas startups. And after that, uh, they try matching with uh, and international startups. In those programs, uh, each uh, overseas partners, National University of Singapore, uh, uh, Startup Nation Central, and Israel uh, Innovation Authority support the matching with uh, those startups. And depending on the program, we will offer hands-on support uh, to promote the collaboration between each corporate and startups. It, its target is mainly this uh, corporate side, um, but uh, doing such program, we are trying to promote uh, IT corporates uh, to, to get a chance to collaborate with uh, overseas startups. Cool, thank you for sharing that. And, uh, and the next topic I'm curious about, Mori-san, is uh, do you offer any financial support, incentives, subsidies, grants? for companies? Yes, we have some subsidies uh, and 
Unfortunately, we do not have the subsidy specialized for the foreign startups, but I hope to share the subsidy which can be available for、uh, foreign entrepreneurs. First one is subsidies to fund startup in i c h i Prefecture. If foreign entrepreneurs come to i c h i Prefecture and fund startup in i c h i Prefecture,、uh, not in overseas countries,、uh, We can offer 2 million yen at the maximum. We also have subsidy for research and development. The subsidy's target is not only startup, but also include big corporate. For a startup and a small and medium sized companies, we will offer two thirds of the budget for research and development. If、uh, startups、uh, try R&D in IT prefecture, We can offer uh, uh, some part of those b u d g e t Ah, and for, the, for that research,、uh, is there any particular industries or problems that they would have to focus on to receive it? So, we do not limit the range of research and development. Every year, many k i n d of the industries are getting r and d subsidy. From mobility, manufacturing, some、uh, processing companies. So,、uh, if you have in, if the listeners have interest in such、uh, subsidies,、uh, please contact us and we will he- help、uh, whether the content can be target of subsidy or not. Thanks for saying that.、Uh, are there any other financial support incentives for Aichi? It may not be financial support, but we have the,、uh, the system called the Startup Visa. If、uh, foreign entrepreneurs、uh, try to get the visa,、uh, depending on the case,、uh, we will be able to、uh, support to acquire a visa for them. Okay, yeah,、uh, thank you for sharing that. And、uh, how about Ichihara san? Are there any、uh, financial support from Station AI? Okay.、Um, actually, not from us.、Uh, at this moment, it's,、uh, uh, yeah, of course, Station AI will be open next year. But we are doing the、uh, like、pre-Station AI, so、uh, like preparation phase at this moment. So once you become a member of the Station AI,、uh, you can choose a standard member or remote members. Standard members, like、uh, we are located at the WeWork Nagoya at this moment, but one company, maximum five cars of the WeWork cars,、uh, can, can get it、uh, as free of charge at this moment. And of course, the remote member is、uh, the free of charge at this moment. So uh, uh, this will be until like opening of the official station AI. So this is like subsidy from uh, uh, IG Prefecture at this moment. So, I think this is、uh, one of the in- incentives to be a, a member of the p r e s t a t i o n a member at this moment. Gotcha. And can、uh, companies from overseas become members? Yeah. At this moment, we do have、uh, 15 members of the、uh, overseas startup companies. And、uh, some of them, of course, like, are still、uh, will have a company in、uh, home countries, but uh, uh, some of the members.、Uh, They come to、uh, our office and they use our、uh, facility as well. So,、um, yeah, we try to increase the number of the overseas startup companies. Okay, yeah, thank you both for answering. For the listeners, pretty much in general, for financial support or incentives or subsidies, it's typically reserved for companies who are incorporated in that city or prefecture. Uh, about the subsidy for funding a start,、uh, startup,、uh, it's only limited to the incorporation in IT prefecture. And about r and d it's not o- only limited to the company in IT prefecture, but the location of the research and development must be in IT prefecture. Thanks for clarifying that. And to clarify for the listeners too, So, if let's say I have my headquarters is overseas, but we've also incorporated in Japan.、Uh, so, in Aichi's case, would that still make us eligible for 
financial support and incentives? Uh, so if you have already started companies, uh, it cannot be the target for the subsidy for founding startup. But uh -huh. if you did not uh, make your company outside of Japan and come here and make a new company, it will be target for the uh, the subsidy to fund startup. Ichihara san, uh, does Station AI invest in companies? Yes. Um... We created um, our fund uh, last year, June, and then until today, um, we have invested to uh, nine startup company this moment. Oh, okay, thanks for answering that. Mm -hmm. And also, I guess in general, is there any other support do you offer for an entrepreneurs? Okay, um, actually our fund, uh, uh, how is the uh, organization is the, the GP as a general partner is uh, uh, Deep Core and Station AI. So these two GP. So Deep Core is the um, uh, group company of the SoftBank and uh, Venture Capital. And then Station AI, of course, like uh, we are working together. And then uh, we do have uh, 15 limited partners, including IT Prefecture and Nagoya City and SoftBank. And then also like uh, we do have like a uh, uh, local financial institution as well, and then the, all the enterprise as well. So it means that like uh, once uh, we have we invested from our fund, uh, we do have many supporters like uh, government and financial institutions and enterprise. So we try to uh, connect um, uh, our startup company businesses to. Uh, with our network. So this is one of the uh, function that we have. And also um, we have a fund and then also we do have a, a incubation hub as well. So uh, they can uh, utilize uh, our services or our network for their businesses as well. So this is kind of different from a, like, a, like a PC or other CVC. Uh, we have many supporters, and then we have many uh, menu to support uh, startup companies. Uh, thank you for sharing about that. Uh, are there any requirements for the companies? Like, okay. do they have uh, to be incorporated in Japan, or is Delaware okay? Uh, please let us know more. Okay. Uh, at this moment, there is one condition. It's that... Uh, um, uh, the startup company that we invest is the member of the pre-station AI or station AI members. So uh, at first, uh, we try to invite startup company to be a member of the station AI. And then uh, we're going to start the DD uh, for the investment. So I'd like to say the condition is the startup must be a member of the station AI. So this is a one condition at this moment. Uh, thank you for letting us know that. And I think my next question would be, uh, who are the rising stars coming out of uh, Nagoya and Aichi? And I'll start with uh, Satoru first. Okay, we started inviting the overseas startup company from this April. So, uh, so basically we just started. And then at this moment, about 15 uh, startup company coming to our members. So uh, we are, trying to like uh, accelerate their businesses and then try to connect with the uh, many enterprise in Japan. So uh, we are on the process at this moment. And the others is, um, uh, of course, we have invested to nine companies here, but also like, uh, uh, as I mentioned that we already have 282 startup company uh, as a member of the station AI. So uh, next rising stars, uh, there, there are so many, <laughs> I would like to say. And uh, the stage is like a seed RE and middle later also. At this moment, of course, we do have many like seed RE stage uh, startup, but uh, uh, increasing the number of the middle data uh, stage of the startup business, uh, startup uh, company as well. So um, it's really hard to say the, uh, the rising star uh, of the startup company at this moment, but uh, um, we, uh, in IT, we do have many manufacturing companies. So uh, we are very strong with the uh, startup company uh, who are providing the uh, solutions or services 
for the manufacturing related uh, DX or SARS and those company uh, those services. How about your uh, Morisan? Could you let us know as well for maybe Aichi? There are like, many wonderful startups in Aichi, in Aichi Prefecture, and I love each of them. And so uh, from those of them, I hope to introduce the startups uh, selected for Sugoi Venture 100 uh, by Toyo Keizai. Toyo Keizai is a very famous economic magazine in Japan. Uh, from them, uh, I hope to explain some example from, selected from uh, IC Prefecture. For example, startup called uh, PowerWave. Uh, they are uh, developing wireless battery charging system for electric vehicle. And as a startup, uh, Factory X, uh, they are uh, developing the, the software to optimize inventory. And uh, Startup called Grand Green. Uh, they are develop, developing a new plant cultivar by gene editing technology. And we also uh, have Acon. Uh, that is that company have their uh, co-creation platform uh, among big company and uh, startups. So may, from uh, from many of the rising stars in Aichi Prefecture, uh, I hope to share those startups. Uh, as an example, uh, because it's a, it was featured by Toyota Keizai. Ah, uh, yeah, and that, that is a really huge, uh, or for the startups or companies listening, if you could get featured in Toyo Keizai, that yes. definitely creates a lot of trust for your company. And I, next I'd like to move on to what is unique about Nagoya, so that we can learn a little bit more about Nagoya. And uh, so I think, so Toyota, I think you're not from Nagoya, right? Uh, yes. I, okay, so yeah, maybe it might be more interesting to ask you. <laughs> yeah, so, um, that's right. Okay. Actually, I was born in Kyushu, and then I grew up in Sapporo. And then uh, after high school, I went to like yeah, Europe and US and then Asia. So compared with other cities, uh, let's say like when I, when I was in Kyushu, when I was in Sapporo, it was very hard to go other cities. Because it's uh, very up north and very up, uh, like down south. So, uh, Nagoya, uh, is very convenient to go domestic and then also overseas. So this is, well, it's not uniqueness, but, uh, it's very convenient. So I would like to say, so this is one. And then also, how to say that food, uh, Nagoya food, like, uh, misokatsu or, uh, like, uh, Unagi also, um, compared to other cities, is very unique. And then I love those food as well. The culture wise, um, it's, it's pretty much like mixed culture. Like, uh, of course it's, it's close to like a uh, Tokyo and then Osaka. And then, uh, the university student, uh, coming from uh, other area as well. So I believe there's a uh, mix, mixed cultures. And then also, um, uh, there are so many like enterprises. So people are used to live in the overseas as well. So they know uh, uh, overseas minded as well. So I'm not from Nagoya, I'm not from Aichi, but uh, I very, I'm very comfortable uh, living here. And then, um, yeah, so that's, I would like to say, yeah. And I had a friend, uh, I think he was working for Mitsu, or he was a consultant to Mitsubishi, I think in the, the rocket space, and he lived in Nagoya for probably five years and had a great time. Also, I'm kind of curious, like, uh, kind of, I mean, you, you've kind of experienced many different cities, but uh, was there any, like, unique business cultural differences to Nagoya? Or uh, maybe you could just describe maybe kind of like the business culture in Nagoya, maybe compared to other cities. Okay. Um, I think uh, the company in uh, Aichi, um, uh, they are looking at the, at the global business at the first place. So uh, when you approach to the customer, uh, uh, it's not only like a specific domestic market, uh, you can talk about it. You can always uh, talk about like uh, how to expand to global, like uh, Asia, US or Europe, uh, how to expand it because they have a branch or they have a factory in the overseas. 
So um, when you try to think about the business expansion in in IT, you can always uh, talk about uh, about the global business as well. So this is kind of uh, different from other city as well. And then, of course, um, there is a, a very strong, how to say, group company. It's not system, but uh, culture. So uh, when you go like a top tier one, and they're also tier, tier two, tier three. So um, when you go um, uh, tier one, uh, you can always go uh, tier two and tier three as well. So uh, those are like, a, it's not system, but uh, uh, company culture, uh, uh, we should understand. And then uh, we should know how to talk and then we should know how is the routing and those kind of things. So uh, those are, well, co company culture, I, I believe. Thank you for listening to this episode of Scaling Japan. In addition to serving as your fine host, I also provide advisory and coaching services to business owners who want to 2x, 5x, and even 10x their business. So stop holding your company and your team and your employees back and let me help you and your company scale. Find more information at scalingyourcompany.com. Now back to the episode. So for Nagoya, in terms of cultural differences, uh, is there anything in terms of like business communication or maybe uh, like no communication where, you know, going out to drink? <laughs> yeah, um, here's like a, a mainly like manufacturing uh, industries. So uh, as my experience, like no communication is quite important. So like because of the COVID, like uh, about two, three years, we could meet uh, the person face to face. So it was kind of hard time, but the now after COVID, it, it's getting more like a face to face meeting is uh, increasing at this moment. Once again, those like, uh, well, like not only communication, but the face to face meeting uh, and those communications are very important uh, in this IG region. And Mori-san, as someone who's from uh, Aichi, so let's say I'm a foreigner, I'm going to meet potential client in Aichi, and we're going to go out for food or drinks. What should I ask them to take me to that would make them feel very happy? So as Ichihara san shared, I hope to uh, recommend you uh, food uh, from Nagoya. In Nagoya, especially personally, uh, 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 I hope to recommend you eel uh, from many of Nagoya Meshi. That is called Hitsumabushi. Uh, that is a special uh, type of the, uh, the eel, eel, shinkat grilled eel is uh, put on the rice. And we can eat them in some variety of the way to eat. That is my most favorite. Nagoya food, and if you come here, uh, I hope all of you try it. Thank you for sharing. And my last question would be, uh, I'll start with Mori-san. Uh, what are Aichi's plans moving forward for the next three years? So next three years, so next October, a Station AI will start operation. Now, PlayStation AI and this situation will be completely changed. In, now in PlayStation AI, only startup are gathering here, but in Station AI, we hope a uh, corporate or other startup support organization will gather uh, in inside of the Station AI. I think it will accelerate the, uh, the innovation, including startups, and uh, it will uh, change the scenery of innovation of IT architecture. That, that, that is the near future we are thinking. Okay. Anything else in the next three years for IG Prefecture for startups to expect or maybe kind of like the vision? So, so basically, each of our activity must be get, uh, get approval from assembly and we cannot uh, comment it in detail now. At the same time, we will uh, we will continue the many of the programs 
uh, to nurture entrepreneurship mind uh, or to share basic knowledge of the funding startup or other many of the acceleration program will be continued uh, three years. Uh, how about Station AI? Uh, okay, uh, as of the Station AI, uh, our like uh, target uh, in the uh, next five years, probably like uh, by 2029 after opening, um, it will be like thousand startup company uh, uh, we try to uh, invite and to be a member of the Station AI members. So this is the, the number wise is our target. But uh, also like uh, we try to increase the population of the our ecosystem uh, to be involved. So not only startup company, like uh, we try to invite uh, the people from uh, uh, like enterprise companies or like uh, universities, uh, research or financial institutions as well. So um, our main target is uh, try to increase the population, like startup ecosystem population uh, by like station AI or IG prefectures. And uh, another thing is like, uh, uh, we are uh, uh, try to focus on uh, student education as well. So um, uh, we do have a uh, programs which is called like STAPS. This is for like uh, uh, mainly like university student uh, education programs. And then we try to uh, increase the number of the startup uh, uh, entrepreneur as well. And another thing is like we just started like activation lab. Um, this is the uh, lab for people working for company, but uh, uh, some people would like to transfer to startup company or like they want to start a new business uh, by their own. So we try to support those people to be a member of the startup uh, area as well. So um, not only like, uh, you know, increase the number of the st uh, startup companies or startup CEOs, uh, we try to increase the number of the uh, population of the ecosystem. So this is our uh, next three to five years target. Thanks for sharing that. And uh, thank you guys very much. And thank you very much. <laughs> thanks for taking your time and uh, preparing so much. Uh, I think Mori-san was up to like 2 a.m. or 3 a.m.? Yes, I have prepared a long time. <laughs> okay. Yes, thanks. that's a very great experience. Thank you very much. Thank you guys so much.